hustle together. Catch Planning for a Better and Safer Retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Good morning, 19 minutes after 7 o'clock. It is May 26, 2015. Thank you for tuning in to The Source, WOCA, broadcasting live from the paddock mall just outside the WOCA commissary where you too can get a bite to eat. Yep. Some people call it the food court. Don't <laughs> be fooled. It's the WOCA commissary. Exactly. It is 73 degrees, by the way, here. A nice looking Tuesday morning. It almost sort of kind of feels like Monday, even though we were here yesterday. But yeah, but we it were sort live. Of felt like a day off, even though we were here. It's weird, isn't it? We're here, but it feels like a day off. Yeah. 73 degrees. There is rain in today's forecast. High temperatures climbing to the mid 90s. Mm -hmm. So it's not too bad. Tomorrow, there's no mention of rain, nor is there a mention of rain on Thursday or Friday. Okay. The weekend has rain mentioned, however, each day all the way through this entire forecast, which goes till a week from today. Mm -hmm. High temperatures in the mid, low to mid 90s. So. You live in Florida. It's going to rain every afternoon. That's kind of the way it is, right? Yep. All right, let's see. We've got a good show planned for this morning. 7.35, we will uh, kick it off with this story that I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, you've heard of the protesters in Ferguson, Missouri, correct? Yes. You heard that they were looting and rioting and burning buildings and overturning police cars. Yep. Did you hear this, that they're protesting again? No, I did not. Did you hear that this time their protest is a little bit different? It's kind of done more of a, a, on Twitter than than anything else because they're they're complaining that 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 protesting was supposed to pay them five thousand dollars a month. Uh, oh yeah, where did they get that idea? They were told. <laughs> they were told that if you if you that's what it sounds like to me. Wow. $5,000 a month to uh, run around holding a sign, burning down a building or two. Uh -huh. You will get paid $5,000 a month, $1,250 a week. Wow. I hope they have paper backup. Well, the, what a, what an interesting story. And, and um, I, I will read it to you. I was not to do that. No, nobody called you. No. <laughs> nobody said, hey, Rob, I'll give you, you $5,000 a month. What I want you to do is like run around town and burn buildings down. And don't, don't worry. Yeah. They, they've got insurance. Don't, don't feel bad exactly. about it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you believe that story? Wow. Uh, also, there's another thing in the news that's kind of interesting. You know the this, this story about ISIS taking over that town in, in Iraq? Uh-huh. And they said the Iraqi army kind of just let them do it, right? Yes. Well, now there's talk that that whole thing was done just to get our ire up and get us over there with our troops. Mm -hmm. The whole thing was a setup so that you and I would, would say, we got to go get those ISIS guys out of there and send our troops back to Iraq. Uh-huh. Oh, um, my gosh. So uh, we'll talk about those two stories between oh 7.35 and 8 o'clock and take them as far as you the audience want them to go. I would love to hear from you on both of those stories. Gosh. 
That's horrible. 835, that's when we turn off our opinion and we try to turn off our silly... um, we pretty much are good at that. Yeah. Unless it's a holiday. <laughs> yeah, well, we did something. it yesterday. We did it yesterday. Was fine. Yeah. yeah, we had news yesterday. But anyway, so News Bites is at 835. That's where we take the news and simply deliver it in short form. It gives mm-hmm. you a chance to catch up on the news. We don't offer our commentary. Sometimes the stories themselves. Yes have been written with a slant to, to them, but I think mm-hmm. you're smart enough to see that. Carol Ann will be here this morning at 9.05. She is our master gardener. She helps us understand what we need to do to make sure our grass is green, our yep. roses are red, and our violets are pink. <laughs> <laughs> no more blue violets there. Uh, Deborah Harkness at 10.05. She has a book called The Book of Life, book three and the finale of the All Souls Trilogy. Yep. Uh, yeah. She's a professor of history at the University of Southern California. So we're going to speak to her for 25 minutes about what she does. And it's in uh, the the story itself is in development with the BBC for a television series. So okay. that is so awesome. We jo- have rock stars on our show and from the literary world. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Reichel at uh, 1035. Joe is with Damage Control Services. He comes in here to answer your do-it-yourself home repair questions. You got something that needs to be fixed? He'll tell you how to take it apart and put it back together again yep. so it's like brand new, like Doug's washing machine. Yep. Yep. Uh, Gen- Jennifer Ritchie at 11.05 this morning. Uh, she... I love, I love this. <laughs> I knew you'd love this. <laughs> she is a lactation expert. <laughs> Where do I sign up? <laughs> She's a lactation consultant. She's the founder of something called Milkalicious. Ooh. <laughs> she provides community-based long-term support for breastfeeding mothers. Okay. And uh, her book is called I Make Milk. What's your superpower? <laughs> I'll tell you later. There was never any uh, of those organizations around <laughs> when I was breastfeeding. I just did it, and my kids are happy, and... And healthy. The ultimate survival to survival guide to breastfeeding. Yeah, you're right. I, I wonder yeah, what women from the, a century ago would say to that title. What? Yeah. Survive it. it. <laughs> Is there any alternative to it? <laughs> You do it for the, your kids. The politics of mother's milk is is uh, one of the other things she wants to talk to us about. <laughs> yeah, I hear there's a huge market. I have for no that. problem with seeing mm-hmm. this. I, I don't really have a problem with this. Women lactating or. <laughs> seeing a baby, you know, seeing yeah. a mother feeding her baby. I really don't have a problem with it. I know some people do. I think more women have a problem with it than men. And I, and I don't think that men are going gaga over it, by the way. I don't, I don't think so. I think we see it as a, hey, it's a, it's a mom and she's feeding her baby. <laughs> I just like to be relaxed we have this culture when I did it. Well, yeah, I understand you that. But we have this, we have this weird culture guy. when it comes to bodies. Mm-hmm. You know, not that I'm mm-hmm. suggesting we all walk around naked. I'm just saying that <laughs> we, it's, it's especially breastfeeding. It's kind of weird that we have this weird. Anyway, fun yeah. with Joe today. Fun with Joe. I think Anthony's coming in today yes, on fun with is. Joe. Anthony will be here. Um, I have some quotes from history as if Yoda said them. Oh, cool. So you'll have to figure out what Yoda, who Yoda was trying to quote. Uh huh. Not only from history, but also from movies. So it's Yoda quotes. <laughs> Yoda quotes today. Nice. Uh, nice. When Galen is on, a f- fun fun topic. I I always try to find something new with kind of a lot of what we do, and especially with the Galen segment. Uh, I call it the Galen segment. It's the Life South segment. Uh, mm-hmm. But a- anyway, um, we've never talked about factory tours. Did you ever well, tour a factory? Yeah, I worked in a factory. Yeah. I, I Me toured too. the factory, yeah. Hostess, but did you, the hostess you t- factory. Oh, you took a tour of the hostess yep. factory? Yep. The now, car, where is that? Where car, is that? Up up in Milwaukee. We had a hostess factory up really? there. Really? Well, that's kind of yeah. cool. And you yeah. saw them, like, <laughs> stuff in the Twinkies and stuff? Yeah, it was, it was during <laughs> school, you know. We had our school tour. Oh, yeah. Well, a lot of the a lot of know. our recollections of uh, factory tours are from our school days. Yeah. Went to Kellogg's with my folks when we went to Michigan on vacation. Is that Battle Creek? Yes. Okay, I think I went there as a kid. Yeah. I think Ellis I went factory, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went yeah. to I went to the Golden Flake factory here. Um, oh, no, I've never been to this. Saw one. that, and, and mm-hmm. they they gave me a a warm potato chip. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> straight off of the thing. Nice. I, I remember going to the Ford factory when I was a kid. Uh huh. Somewhere, I guess that was Detroit, Detroit right? Right. Yeah. Yep. 
So and we, and you went to uh, Bush Gardens before it was a theme park when it was oh, ju- when yeah. it was just a brewery. That's sort of a factory. Yeah. Anyway, well, we so had I, breweries up in Milwaukee. I toured them. Oh, I too. bet you did. <laughs> you probably had more up there than we had down here. Yep. <laughs> but it, but anyway, uh, so I have some some f- cool uh, factory tours to Neat. consider going to with the kids. Caitlin's got a couple of sons. They might enjoy some of these things. I, I think I would enjoy them, and I'm 60 years old. I think I would mm-hmm. enjoy them. Oh, I would love that. I love so, to learn every day. So the topic with Galen is a fun one, I hope, and it's I hope it's a new one. I don't think I've done it before. Plus, I want to tell Galen about the Canadian geese thing. So did you see these things on the Canadian geese? No, no. They what are not there? nice. The Can, Canadian, ca- Canadian geese or the geese? The geese, not oh, the no, people. Yeah, no, the, the geese are mean. The geese, geese I never knew are, Canadian geese were nasty. Yeah, geese are They're like predators. Mean. Predators. Yeah, they've... Uh, they've All right, let's see. There's a ribbon cutting I need to tell you about before we uh, wrap up this segment. Uh, this Today at noon. Today at noon, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the Davida Kidney Care Ocala West. They're having a ribbon cutting. Let's see. Do they have any food? That's what I would want. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just... The Vita uh, Kidney Care. Dr- let's see. Head south on State Road 200. 103rd Street Road is the first left just past Big Lots. Yep. I know where that is. Take the second driveway on the left. Mm-hmm. Hello? That's very close to where you live. Yeah, it's got a big clock on the it. The building is... Oh, it's in the parking lot labeled DeVita Home Dialysis. It faces 103rd Street Road. So mm-hmm. they're having a ribbon cutting at noon. It doesn't say anything about... Um, no, there's nothing about food there. Okay, so just go and, and congratulate them on their on their business. Yeah. New location or second location. DeVita Kidney Care. Important, an important service, obviously. Exactly. So anyway, uh, there you go. And, and that service, by the way, of us, the service that we provide of reading the announcements of the ribbon cuttings is a com- uh, cooperative thing that we do with the Chamber and Economic Partnership, and we'll do it for you, too. Yes. If you have a ribbon cutting, it is a wonderful way to promote your business, whether it's brand new or you've got something new going on. All right, we'll take a little break, and we'll be right back. News Radio. I'm Steve Rappaport. The search called off for survivors of a flash flood in central Texas that killed at least three people. A dozen remain missing. Hundreds of homes destroyed. People across the state need to understand that what we have seen here in Hayes County is going to be or possibly could affect other counties downstream. Governor Greg Abbott. Cleveland reportedly settling a Justice Department investigation of the city's police practices. A federal probe opens after the fatal 2012 shooting by white police officer Michael Brelo of an unarmed black couple after a car chase. Demonstrations turned violent over the weekend after a judge acquitted Brelo of manslaughter charges. Fox Radio's Jane Metzler. Iraqi forces launching a major offensive to drive ISIS out of Anbar province. The group recently captured the provincial capital, Ramadi. Fox News. We report. You decide. news on your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from foxnews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts and it's all free. Go to foxnews2go.mobi That's Fox News, the number two go.mobi. Some people People would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never tried are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. 
never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Local Graphics would like to invite you to their second location on 200 next to Sunny's Barbecue. They are officially open to help you out with all your sign, vehicle, wraps, and printing needs. Visit them and mention this ad for free business cards. Need a logo? We've got you covered. From business cards all the way to menus and flyers. Now two locations to better serve you. On Maricamp, half a mile east from Forest High School. And on 200 by Sunny's Barbecue. Local Graphics, impacting your customers. Like us on Facebook. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. Visit the W-O-C-A website at www.woca.com. The most trusted name in news, Fox News. Every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. All right, good morning. Thank you for tuning in. 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. Looks like another beautiful day, doesn't it? Just oh, it be- does. Just it's a beautiful gorgeous. day. There is a palm tree here, and you've pointed it out to me many times here at mm-hmm. the uh, Paddock Mall, and I think it's dead. Yeah. It, I wonder how long it takes before a dead palm tree falls. Oh, Caroline will be here. I'll have to ask her. Maybe we should go over there and see if we can push it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and, and, and what if it damages something? Oh, that's right. <laughs> and, the, and then you feel like you did it. Well, well you would yeah, have done it. I would have done it, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to ask, oh, how long does it take a dead palm tree to fall? Yeah, exactly. You know, palm trees are kind of amazing. When you see them in, in, in a hurricane, it's like they, they just stay. Yeah. They just, uh, do they blow over at all? They just seem to have this ability to, to stay. All right. Yeah, uh, big, so big old weird. tangent right there. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's a good question. All right. Let's see. Uh, so before we get into the, the peculiar news about the $5,000 offer to protesters in Ferguson, which is a whew, crazy story. Yeah. This is other crazy story. Uh, two of B.B. King's daughters alleged that he was poisoned. Really? They say the 89-year-old musician was murdered by a couple of his aides. The Las Vegas coroner's office did an autopsy over the weekend. Coroner John Fudenberg said there's no evidence sub- to substantiate those allegations, though. Oh, my god! Full forensic results will take six to eight weeks. But anyway, this, that's their allegations, that their father's death was caused by... A, by by poisoning. poisoning. Oh my gosh. Wow. This ter- terribly sad story. The the um, homecoming queen in some town in Texas uh, died on her way home from f- the flooding that they're having over there. Epic rainfall and flooding oh. made a deadly combination in parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Six people have lost their lives. Twelve more are missing. The heavy rain continued in parts of Texas. Uh, the N- National Weather Service calls it extremely dangerous and life-threatening. By the way, we had how many people died in, in our beaches over the weekend? Five Oh, people? yeah, yeah. 
That one, that boater, I mean, God. Three people. Three people died, uh, and, and 500 people were pulled from the ocean. Those lifeguards were busy, huh? Yeah. Well, they had. Well, they were warning people about rip rip currents, and then they had that, that bounce house down in Miami or something, and there were, like, uh, three kids in there, and it, the wind took it, and it was, like, sailing away. Hmm. Oh, yeah, wow. right, right, right. so scary. The uh, Memorial Day weekend kept the uh, local uh, the authorities, the airplane authorities, uh, busy. Ten threats against the airlines. <gasps> Ten threats. Oh, my god! All turned out to be nothing. Authorities hinted that the threats didn't seem to be credible, but still they had to treat them like they were. Well, I hope so. The FBI is involved. We pay for that uh, service to keep And then the, on, in the sports news, the Chicago Bears booted defensive end Ray McDonald from the squad after he was arrested on domestic violence and child endangerment charges in California. Good. McDonald was dropped by the San Francisco 49ers last year following accusations of sexual assault. <gasps> Those oh. charges were later dropped. So. No, no. It's, I don't care if you are. And one guy. light thing just to... I guess balance it out today is National Blueberry Cheesecake Day. Just oh, nice! I'll tell you that. All right, are you ready for this? Yep. Some protesters who looted, and rioted, and burned buildings and overturned police cars mm-hmm. in Ferguson, Missouri, last year were promised payment of up to five thousand dollars per month to join the protests. Yep, I believe that there are a lot of people there from out. Uh, that don't live in that town. The Missourians mm-hmm. Organizing for Reform and Empowerment. That's the name of the organization. Stand, mm-hmm. uh, works out to the acronym MORE, M-O-R-E. Missourians Organizing for Reform and Empowerment. It's a successor group group to the now bankrupt St. Louis, Louis branch of ACORN, which was the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now. Uh, the protesters who were promised the money say they were stiffed. They launched a sit-in protest at the headquarters of Moore and created a Twitter page to demand their money. Mm -hmm. I'm getting this from the Washington Times, by the way. Presidential candidate and former Representative Alan West from here in Florida noted on his website, instead of being thankful for getting off the unemployment line for a few weeks and having a little fun protesting, the paid rioters who tore up Ferguson are protesting again. First of all, can you even imagine getting paid $5,000 a month for running around holding a sign and burning down an occasional building? Well, look at ISIS. They're paying those guys to shoot people. Uh, don't, don't go on that... Jack, yet. We'll go there in a second. Uh, But anyway, this is here in America. The Kansas City Star estimates that the Ferguson riots characterized as a spontaneous eruption of anger over the shooting of Michael Brown by Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson cost the county $4.2 million. An organization called Millennial Activists United posted a letter on their website stating that on May 14th, Many individuals and organizations of the protest movement that began in Ferguson organized a sit-in at the Office of Missourians Organizing for Reform and Empowerment, known as MORE. The demand was simple, cut the checks. Exactly. I mean, they were hired for a job. Questions have been raised as to how the movement is to sustain when nonprofits are hoarding monies collected. Oh, boy. Gee, this is a huge, huge bucket of work. Moore is funded by uh, billionaire George Soros, according to the Washington Times. Ooh. Ooh. Moore. The OSF. Uh, what did that stand for again? Or the organized? Oh, I, I hate when they do that. I wish yeah. you get what the different acronyms stand for. But anyway, the Times states that paid for activists from various protest groups to travel to Ferguson and take part in the demonstrations. Gee, all these people do is make money from being protesters. Wow. That is sickening. It's, it's not to say that sickening. there wasn't, uh, you know, any real reason to protest. I mean, you, you could see if you, I mean, based just on the story alone, it, it, it I, I'm not saying that burning down buildings is good. I'm just saying peaceful protest is sometimes not a bad way to make a statement but this wasn't peaceful and these people Mm -hmm. were being paid so they didn't even care about the issue at hand no no they did not they just went there wow money how horrible is that it's very horrible if this is wrong don't blame me blame the washington times that's where i'm getting it from good morning you're on the air 
This is a very interesting story, Larry. It is. A couple levels. First, Acorn was uh, supposed to be disbanded because they got caught doing some shenanigans. Yeah. But all they did, as you mentioned, they just changed their name and they just, uh, you know, still spread the money around. But there have always been paid rabble rousers involved in these movements. This is one of the few times I guess they didn't, uh, you know, get the money they were promised. But this reminds me of something that Lennon said many years ago. Not not John Lennon of the Beatles, but the, the Lennon that founded communist Russia. He, he wrote that if somebody is a skillful agitator, there's no reason they should be working in a factory, that the party needs to pay them so they can go out and do what they're good at. And, and that's exactly what's happening here. But it's not just, you know, it's not just the progressives and the Democrats that do this, because if you ever watch... You know, like uh, these discussion shows on TV, they'll say, uh, you know, so-and-so is a Democrat strategist and so-and-so is a Republican strategist, and then they sit there and talk pretty much like you and Robin and I do. They sit and talk about issues, but they, they get paid. But who, who do you think pays them? They get paid by the same kind of George Soros special interest groups, whether it's the right or the left, to sit around and get on television and, and push their agenda forward. They just do it with a little bit more finesse than the people that go out in the streets and stir up these these people that have a legitimate right to protest. But these agitators get them all stirred up and start shouting, burn, 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 and then you know what happens. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. No, that is absolutely true. And 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 and, and you, we this is something we really have to wake up to as a country. We yeah. really have to wake up to this because we are being manipulated. We are being manipulated. It's a perfect segue into the second thing I wanted to talk about, um, which is the the ISIS, the easy takeover of that city in Iraq. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll do that on the other side of the break. Uh, it is absolutely, the two things are connected in, in my mind, because whether it is, it is the, the appearance of that the, uh, this group of people who, for all intents and purposes, is a small group, is cutting off the heads of people. We're supposed to have a reaction to that. We do have a reaction to that. And maybe that reaction is a calculated one for somebody's best interests. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody makes money off of us going to war in their countries. Um, we will take a little break. I want to hear what you have to say about that when we come back. I'll read you the story, or at least parts of it, and we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for today. Times of sun and clouds and becoming breezy. It can be a thunderstorm in spots, but most areas along the coast will stay dry today with highs of 86 in the coast to 92 inland. Partly cloudy tonight with a shower in spots late at night near the coast, the low 67 inland, 74 in the coast. But tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sun. There can be a morning shower along the coast, the high 84 at the coast, 91 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, meteorologist Joe Lundberg. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. So you need a credit card, but how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards, and we do too. They have customer service. Hello, 24-7. They have celebrities. Hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no way. No liability for fraudulent charges and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Black Cow Composted Cow Manure is a terrific organic soil amendment. We start with cow manure from dairy farms and then compost it a full 90 days. The result is an all-natural, dark, rich soil amendment that's great for everything you grow. Flowers, vegetables, shrubs, trees, and lawns, too. Look for Black Cow in the bright yellow and black bag at your favorite nursery or garden center. Black Cow, the mature manure, Black Cow. 
Who doesn't love heading out on the boat with a family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies? Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you build your coverage for your car or your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Agency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cal Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, condition, and availability. Savings vary. W-W-W-W-W-O-C-A W-W-W-W-W-O-C-A Your source for the number one sports weekend. Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. We are the source. W-O-C-A all right, thank you. 12 minutes now before 8 o'clock. Looks like a nice uh, Tuesday morning. The the rain in, in Texas, as is, is, uh, bad as it is, is um, heading our way, it looks like. I'm just, uh, I'm not a, a real meteorologist, but it looks like some of the rain we'll be seeing, I guess, maybe tomorrow is actually part of that same system. Let's hope it's uh, it's not bringing us as much rain as it dropped on them. But, uh, and, and, of course, our prayers for those folks who have been flooded. That was a horrible story about that, the young girl. She was a beauty queen or whatever, a homecoming, homecoming queen. Homecoming queen, you Homecoming said. queen. Yeah. All right, so so the, the first part of this half hour, we started out with the uh, the payment of 5000 the promise of payment of $5,000 um, to the protesters in Ferguson. And how we're manipulated, uh, how they, they, we are manipulated by that activity. Even, it, it is interesting, even if we hear that the people involved were getting paid. Do you remember in, in the, um, oh, what was that thing, S- the sit-ins in Wall Street, what was that thing called again? Oh, gee. What were they doing up there? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> Whatever they, they called did. it. But they, some of those yeah, people were getting paid, too. 99% or something. Right, right, like right. So yeah. Some of those people were getting paid also. Yeah, right, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. okay, yesterday um, on Memorial Day, I, w- I went back into our archives and I found a video that you and I did over at the, um, uh, in Bushnell, the National, the Florida National Cemetery. Yep. Uh, and uh, in, in the, in, in the piece, I included the, the song, The Lord's Prayer. Yes, it was raining that day, too. Right? It, it was a rainy day, yeah. A- anyway, so uh, one of the people who comments on my um, posts a lot is a, is a guy who I, I've known for a very long time. His name is Dominic. And, and this is what he wrote. He wrote, I have so many thoughts when I visit these national cemeteries. And my question is, why? It gives me such a solemn feeling to think that these young men gave up the best years of their lives because of evil, egomaniac dictators, and the worst part, we still allow it to happen. Didn't these lives accomplish anything? We can worship all we want, but somewhere, somehow, someone has to stop this insanity. I would hope in our lifetime. All this does is add to the atheist's way of thinking for obvious reasons. Thanks to you and Robin for the wonderful presentation. Okay. Think about what he is saying here. He is saying that we go to war because of evil, egomaniac dictators. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, let's see. Among these children, I, I, can't, remember, I can't remember the line. Um, we went Our to war. Progeny among these children. I, I know, I know. I can't remember the whole line. But, but okay. I, I, we've always thought, we've always known that when there are nutcases who want to take over the world, that uh, we end up having to to go to war to to fight them, um, and and so when something the, the lessons we learned from World War II, in addition to never let a dictator take over, but t- people who have evil minds say, wait a minute, this is a way to get America involved in in our country so that maybe we can have fill in the blank oil. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever other resources might be there, you know, are we being manipulated by by these other countries? Are they outsmarting us? Looks like it. Um, to be. So he he says again. Didn't these lives accomplish anything? We can worship all we want, but somewhere, somehow, someone has to stop this insanity. I'm not really sure what he means when he says all this does is add fuel to the atheist's way of thinking, because the Lord's Prayer, which is the song that we use in this 
in this piece Mm -hmm. says, um, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's the prayer. Mm -hmm. The prayer is that one day we will have an entire planet full of people that understand that you treat each other with kindness and dignity exactly. and, and you don't take from people, uh, you, you know, you allow people to work for a fair wage. One day, one day, that's what the prayer is asking for or hoping for. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if we, okay, if you look at each conflict, each war, and you say, well, wait a minute, this is why we went to that war. That's right. That's right. But but sometimes you look in the history. I don't know if it's revisionist history or if it's if there's anything to it. But we've seen at least we've had guests who have said that some of the conflicts we've gone to, Vietnam Wars, is brought up. Um, the Iraq War is brought up as conflicts that we got into, so that some oil company could have oil. Right. Uh, exactly. So if that's that's just part one of this. Now, here's here's the story. Defense Secretary Ash Carter claims um, that the fall of Ramadi was the fault of Iraqi troops unwilling to fight. Yep. That, according to the Wall Street Journal. Um, the, the Islamic State, also known as ISIS, um, used a, a, a new war tactic to, to be able to accomplish their conquest. An ISIS commander in late April put out a call for fighters to redeploy from Syria to the Ramadi area because his forces were prepared to launch an attack as the once static front lines had begun to swing ISIS's way. Just three weeks later, ISIS had taken control of Ramadi with suicide bombers. Though ISIS was far outnumbered, it outwitted Iraqi and coalition troops through several adaptive methods. This according to the Wall Street Journal. Uh, It's very frustrating, Bill Roggio said. He's the senior fellow uh, at the Defense of Democracies. Um, He made a... He he was uh, asked his opinion by the Wall Street Journal. He said, these guys are showing a good degree of tactical awareness. The fighters drove ordinary sedans rather than their usual Toyota pickup trucks, and that helped them appear to be part of the regular population. The ISIS leaders sought fighters who would go on, quote, one-time assignments, which means they blow themselves up. They die in the attack. Yeah. They are suicide bombers. Right. ISIS enforced a social media blackout of its operations near Ramadi while continuing to post about its actions elsewhere. An initial attack on May 5th was repelled by Iraqi forces, but ISIS was able to reposition snipers by May 13th. On May 14th, one day later, one armored bulldozer was deployed to remove concrete barriers from around the government building in the capital city of Anbar province. The dozer worked uninterrupted for nearly an hour, and once it was finished, a fleet of American-supplied vehicles captured by ISIS and loaded with explosives were driven through. Another 20 such bombs were set off over the next 72 hours. The government complex fell on May 15th and the entire city was in ISIS hands by May 17th. Think about that. One hour this bulldozer was working and nobody stopped him. Yeah, exactly. Nobody stopped him. Exactly. The Iraqis, they don't they don't care about their country. Uh why should we? So, so the, you have to wonder to yourself, is there something like what we just saw the accusations were of the payment in Ferguson happening mm-hmm. in other parts of the world? Yeah. Is this something that somebody is, is doing, paying people, hey, look, we'll pay you more to not fight than to fight. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll take care of you and your family. Yeah. Do you think we are being manipulated? I do. It goes down to the captains and the kings. I mean, you have to wonder about it. When there's ego, if, if somebody wants to take over the world or, or do whatever they want to do or, or what, re, what people really want is power because power equals money. Yeah. And, and money does what? Money gives you autonomy. I don't, I don't know. It makes you what? In, in charge? It does. I, I, lo- I love the, one of the quotes I love. Uh, again, I'm not a good Bible quoter and, and just forgive me for not doing this right, but I'm sure I'll get it close. 
when uh, Jesus is uh, being whipped and he's close to death and Pontius Pilate says to him, how come you don't tell us what we want to hear you say? I have your life in my hands. Jesus says, you have nothing in your hands. Yeah, I love that. You have nothing in your hands. It's Everything true. is in the hands of God. Yeah. And so, and so when somebody decides they want to rule the world, if, if Hitler had accomplished his world domination plan, mm -hmm. he would be dead today. What difference would it have made? Yeah. What difference would it have made? Mm -hmm. If, if any, anybody who decides they want to be a world leader decides, you know what? I'm going to take over the world. Yep. Well, good for you. You're not going to last long. No, because somebody else will be right behind you taking over your spot. And even if they don't, guess what? They die. Every yeah. king that has ever lived, you know, right. dies. They're dead or they've died or they're dying. Exactly. <laughs> right? There you go. We, we have a wonderful uh, situation here because our founding fathers figured it out. They figured it out. And why don't we stick to what they figured out is beyond me. Exactly. I mean, why don't they figure, why don't they say, you know, these guys figured it out. Let the people rule themselves. Let the people appoint somebody to represent them mm -hmm. so that all decisions are made based on what the people want. And yeah. let the guy who is in charge not be a king, not be a dictator, but be a person who presides is the leader over the governing bodies that are sent to to uh, Washington D.C. by the people. Yep, it's not happening. And that one person is the presiding person, which becomes the president. Mm -hmm. The president. We have changed what the president does, yeah. and it's not a comment on Obama. It's not a comment on Bush. It's a comment on we the people. We have let it go away. We have let the the whole concept of a presiding person, a president, be perverted exactly um, we, we have them. forgotten that this is a country of the people by the people for the people and uh, and if you're paying people to protest or you're paying people to not fight against an invading army mm -hmm. exactly whether it's payment in money or payment in in the promise of 72 virgins in, in the sky it's still manipulating you're manipulating people with your lies. You're manipulating people with your money. Exactly. You're manipulating all of us. And the sooner we figure out that we're being manipulated, the sooner we take that middle finger and wave goodbye mm -hmm. to anybody who even tries to do this to us, whether it's on a one-to-one -one level in your own neighborhood or on this whole planet. We'll be right back. Casting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. A deadly downpour soaking Texas and more rain could be coming. Four people have died, at least 12 are missing. Feared dead after a home washed downstream slammed into a bridge. A state of emergency declared in 37 counties. Hundreds of homes destroyed. You cannot candy coat it. It's absolutely massive. Texas Governor Greg Abbott surveying the damage. We urge all citizens to get out of harm's way. Don't risk your lives by trying to not evacuate the water that may be rising. Also on the day, a tornado reportedly touched down about 60 miles northeast of Austin. Fox Radio, Steve Rappaport. Police say two people are dead, several hurt in shooting at a Walmart store in Forks, North Dakota. And pipeline officials believe 101 gallons of oil were released in the oil spill along the California coast. That is slightly less than estimates. Fox News, we report you this time. Fox News Early Prime, breaking down business news and its impact on your bottom line. Your world with Neil Cavuto. That's how I do business. That's why I am business. Bold positions and brash opinions on the topics America is buzzing about. The five. How do you think this will set in with the American people? This will be the pulse of the nation. Washington insight and political know-how from the best in the Beltway. Special report with Brett Bay. The epicenter of the political world is here. The number one place for fair and balanced coverage. Fox News Channel. What's wrong with 
and working hard to make our lives and our kids' lives better. Nothing. At Fox Business, we don't have a problem with success. We have a very big problem with those who get in the way of it. We don't come out of the box bashing those who make money. Just the politicians stealing it and the bureaucracies wasting it. We're not just sitting behind a desk. We're out in the field, on the floor, with the folks. Because when a story moves forward, so do we. Fox Business, the power to prosper. Check your local listings. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Black Cow Composted Cow Manure is a terrific organic soil amendment. We start with cow manure from dairy farms and then compost it a full 90 days. The result is an all-natural, dark, rich soil amendment that's great for everything you grow. Flowers, vegetables, shrubs, trees, and lawns, too. Look for Black Cow in the bright yellow and black bag at your favorite nursery or garden center. Black Cow, the mature manure, Black Cow. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. Looking for that spot to try some real Cuban food? Head on over to Mama V's Cuban Cafe with home-cooked food just like a way I used to make it. Mama V's is the number one authentic Cuban cuisine. Centrally located on Highway 200 in Ocala. Best Cuban sandwich, steak, black beans and rice, and yummy sweet plantains. Tres leche and flan for dessert. Mama V's is open Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, Saturday, 10 to 9. Sandwich combos include side and drink for $7.95. And you've got to try Mama V's Tropical Shakes. 622-1727. Mama V's Cuban Cafe. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Nice looking Tuesday morning. Galen Yunald is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center to remind us that donating blood is the only way we have a blood supply. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? Good. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in the tree zone. In the tree zone. Oh, nice. It feels like old times. In the <laughs> tree zone. In the past. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, you spent the time. Galen told me he, he and his family got a puppy. Yeah, I saw that on Facebook. He oh, was, you did? He, he he was trying to find a home for it because it was like a, a, a stray, right? Well, what happened was is our, our neighbor came over and they were at the dog park and apparently somebody abandoned this puppy at the dog park. Um, and so, you know, they're like, we don't know what to do because they have their own puppy um, that they've been trying to uh, kind of housebreak and it's a high-maintenance puppy and we're like, well... We'll try to find it a home, and um, you know, every day you keep a puppy, it comes a little closer to you keeping that puppy forever. Yeah, right. right. So, um, you know, we're going to try. I mean, we have two other dogs and uh, that are older, and so you got to make sure that they're all going to get along. And um, so far, so good. But uh, having a puppy in the house, is, <laughs> you know, a, that's kind of cool. A bit of a challenge. So, did you name? Did you name it? Yeah. Yeah. 
problem number one, you, you know, you got to call it the puppy, I guess. But uh, no, we named it its shadow. So it's shadow. A, a lab. <laughs> yeah, it's a black lab. We think it's pit bull mix. Uh-huh. Um, so we're not sure how big it's going to get or anything. But um, it, it uh, we got it Friday night. And uh, Friday night? I don't remember. Friday night and uh, or Saturday something. So anyway, um, and it's gotten, it's a little more healthy now. When we first got it, it was pretty weak and dehydrated. and oh. um, But uh, it's getting a little better. Getting better. Wow. Well, we're good for you. There's a blessing in there somewhere, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I don't... Uh, I, it's a it's a great puppy, extremely sweet, and it's it's it listens well. Um, so uh, you know, we'll see. How old does it appear to be? Um, I think it's about like fourteen weeks, somewhere mm. between twelve and sixteen wow. weeks. Wow! Somebody so, just dumped her. But, wow, wow! Yeah, they just dumped her at the dog park, and uh, I, I apparently the, my neighbor tried to take it to the pound, but the pound was full. Um, so. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's not that was a heck of a line that they used on us, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, we can't, you know, what are we going to do? The pound is full. My like, pound is full. <laughs> Main society is full. <laughs> Well, they're could a be. could be. <laughs> well, they're a, a kill shelter too. So I'm glad she didn't go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've we've rescued dogs from there in the past. So, mm-hmm. um, I mean, so far so good. We'll see. As long as the dogs get along, um, that's that. You know, we have to have. As my wife said, she goes, "This can't mess up my zen. So it, it can't mess up her our peace that we've." You know, we That's work right. so hard to keep it. That's our right. House. Yeah, just don't get a Canadian yeah. goose. You know, there's Canadian geese. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Those things are mean. Well, y- you know, they have them on golf courses, and they just destroy the golf course. So wow, I uh, never and knew. You can't touch them. Yeah, you can't touch them because they're like a some type of protected animal for some reason. Whoever put the Canadian geese on there had never been near a Canadian geese. They're mean. They are territorial and mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's, a, there, I, there's a couple of trending pieces right now on Canadian geese, and I was watching the videos, and I was thinking, holy mackerel. These, I mean, these they, mean. they won't run away. I mean, they'll, they'll come back at you. <laughs> right. Well, they go, what they do at a golf course is they put their bill into the ground and dig for bugs, I'm assuming. And so they just destroy golf courses because you can't even move them out, out or anything. Oh, man. So, wow. Yeah. It's... It's, it's it's really hard. My uh, uh, stepdad Al, he was the manager of the Ocala Golf Course all those years ago, and they did have that Canadian geese problem, and there were two of them, and they finally trapped them, and then they uh, took them up to my uh, uh, brother's place to let them roam up there because he's got all that acreage. But they were really mean. They were <laughs> attacking brother. the golfers. <laughs> <laughs> took them to your yeah. brother. <laughs> well, then that well the end of the story is that the goose didn't last long, so he's you know dead and buried <laughs> oh really <laughs> because he was like how did he die char- well <laughs> jim had to take care of him uh, because, yeah because thanksgiving? he <laughs> right, <laughs> over, over there, right near thanksgiving um yeah, because he was attacking the dogs and and the and the cows that were there. And oh my stuff. goodness! He was really nasty. So they took care of him. They're mean. I guess dogs. I've never seen a Canadian goose. I guess I def- <laughs> I've never seen one. Um, all right. Uh, so so let's find out about the blood supply. How? Do, what do we need to know? Uh, you know, we're cu- we're got through the weekend. Um, we're still in emergency need of uh, O negative. Um, so we we did use quite a bit of blood this weekend. We need AV donors because we're low on plasma, and we need platelet donors. So uh, if you have blood inside you, we need you to give it this week. If you have blood inside you. <laughs> uh, and uh, we need to mention that Penn Flooring sponsors this segment. Uh, they have some really nice flooring for you to consider if you're remodeling your home. They are located at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. They've been in business locally for over a quarter of a century. They'll put the flooring in. They'll tell you how to take care of it. They'll uh, mm-hmm. give you... a you can check out the showroom and see what kind of s- stuff they have. The uh, showroom is at 1201 Southwest 17th Street over that by that um, bridge called the McKay-Williams Bridge over the railroad tracks. So today's topic is f- factory tours. 
<laughs> that is cool. I can't wait for this. Factory tours. I like factory tours. Hey, wait, 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 I like going on them. Where do you hear about some of these? But before we do, I know that somebody's been trying to call you. A couple of people have been trying to call, probably about the puppy you got. Uh, good morning. Thank you for waiting. You're on the air with Galen. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, not the puppy, but uh, but the goose and the geese. The goose, which okay. is uh, a big, big problem in uh, central Wisconsin. Uh, uh, and when they migrate in the fall, because they, uh, uh, these flocks, these flocks will land on the uh, corn farm farmers' uh, fields, oh. and they'll pick a corn a corn field apart in about about an hour. They'll just destroy. So what they've done in the past was they blow cannons off every hour. Uh, they have several cannons in the in the fields here, and it gets them to move on. But it was quite a problem for quite a while up there. Hmm, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's what fireworks are for. That's, yeah, the- that's exactly <laughs> why we like fireworks. <laughs> it, it, it was actually like a tourist attraction. It, it, people would go up there and, and park along the highway, you know, and when the, when the cannon would go off, you'd see these hundreds and hundreds of geese pick up and move south or wherever they were going. So it, it was quite an attraction. <laughs> How come every time you call Hugh, it sounds like there's a parrot in the background? Do you have a parrot? <laughs> Oh, I'm on, I'm on the chair. I'm on my in my wife's uh, study here on her on her uh, her rocking chair. Oh, that's what we're hearing. A oh, rocking chair. Okay. Every that's time you cool. call, I always I always think, is there a parrot in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm rocking while I'm talking. <laughs> okay. with, uh, with your, with your, your tours, uh, it was a must for everybody in college to go to the Miller Brewery Company for a wonder, wonderful tour and all the beer you could drink afterwards. All the beer yeah, you can drink. It's great. That's how Bush Gardens was, too. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Hugh. Appreciate that. Let me, yeah, let me, let me squeeze in another one, and then we'll uh, get to the tours. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. I'm on another side of town. I'm not in the same house. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> That's why you sit in your chair. <laughs> I wanted to thank Galen for doing that wonderful thing and uh, taking in that dog because, in reality, the pound is full, and the Humane Society is sometimes cannot take them in because uh, there's too uh, there's no room at the end. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it's sad, but they get pulled up, uh, and certain breeds of dogs have to stay longer than others. You know? Yeah. And, uh, and like if it's a pit bull, you know, they could stay there a year, two years, three years, unless they're a little cute little pit bull puppy. Yeah, yeah, because they got yeah. that, that face. <laughs> but it's such a beautiful dog, and if you took a pit bull in, you, you're going to have a, a wonderful companion that's loyal to your family. You know, you, the kids will never have a better pet. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah I think you. so. Thank, thank you, Linda. All right. So uh, yes, we are going to talk about um, some some tours. So so I, we've got like less than a minute before we have to take the break. So we'll do it on the other side. When when you go on a, on a vacation, Galen, you have the dogs. Do you put them in a kennel? What do you do with the dogs? No, 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 no. We have somebody who house sits. Oh, okay. Um, so that that's taken care of because I have to have somebody take care of my fish. Oh, oh that's the, right. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Fish are still number one priority. <laughs> <laughs> well, labs like water, so <laughs> maybe you'll see her swimming in there one day. <laughs> oh, boy. That would be the end of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll take a little break, and we'll be right back. I have some fun, fun places you could go. I, I, they're, they're, they're not day trips. They're, well, I guess you could find a couple of day trips that are uh-huh. factory tours. Well, right here in Ocala, you got uh, Golden Flake. Golden Flake, yeah. Russell, like Russell Stover's. Russell Store. I've never taken that tour. Oh. I've eaten their chocolate, but I've not yeah. taken the tour. <laughs> All right, we'll take a little break, and we'll be right back with the uh, factory tour part of this show when we come back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for today. Times of sun and clouds and becoming breezy. It can be a thunderstorm in spots, but most areas along the coast will stay dry today with highs of 86 in the coast to 92 inland. Partly cloudy tonight with a shower in spots late at night near the coast, the low 67 inland, 74 in the coast. But tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sun. There can be a morning shower along the coast, the high 84 at the coast, 91 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Washing a paper cup with water can make it feel better, at least temporarily. You probably know that grapes contain compounds that are proven to improve our health, but those same compounds are toxic to dogs, so never give them grapes or raisins. Short dates send the message that we're busy, which makes us interesting. They also let us part on a high note and walk away thinking, I can't wait to see that person again. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. 
never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Looking for that spot to try some real Cuban food? Head on over to Mama V's Cuban Cafe with home-cooked food just like Abuela used to make it. Mama V's is the number one authentic Cuban cuisine. Centrally located on Highway 200 in Ocala. Best Cuban sandwich, steak, black beans and rice, and yummy sweet plantains. Tres leche and flan for dessert. Mama V's is open Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, Saturday, 10 to 9. Sandwich combos include side and drink for $7.95. And you've got to try Mama V's Tropical Shakes. 622-1727. Mama V's Cuban Cafe. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. All right, 18 minutes after 8 o'clock. Fun topic. I, 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 I don't know why this fascinates me so much. It, I was so excited when I discovered this idea, and I said, you know, we, we try to come up with something new when we talk to Galen, and uh, so th- we've never talked about factory tours yeah. before. Mm-hmm. So let me tell you about some of them. You ready? Yeah, I right. love factory tours. All right, listen to this one. I don't know if you've ever been there, but this is the first one I picked just for you. The Louisville Slugger Factory. Wow. No, I mean, I, 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 I know it's in Kentucky. It's, um, it is in I Kentucky. It's, it's in Louisville. <laughs> uh, but, I, I, but I have not. I have not been there, but I would love to go. Wait, well, I guess on the tour, they, you can, they can make you a custom bat while you're there. Absolutely. The, yes, that's the part I thought was wow. exciting. It's, it's $10 for yeah. adults, $5 for kids 6 to 12. Really? And you get a, a miniature bat as, as part of that $10. So that $10 is really you're yeah. just paying for the bat. Day trip. Yeah, it, that's pretty cool. That is cool. cool. I mean, they make most of the bats they make now are for you know professionals, but uh, yeah, it's still a cool little tour. I'd love to go. You have a bat here waiting for you. Yep. By, I know. By the way, it's I signed. Been in the studio in like months. Who signed it again? Uh, Jim. Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jim George gave it to you. So. I keep forgetting. I well, keep maybe, forgetting. Maybe we'll take a day trip. Yeah, uh, this is this is a factory and a museum, by the way. The Slugger, the right, yeah, Slugger, right. yeah. And, and if you want to check it out, I'll give you the website. It is sluggermuseum.org. Sluggermuseum.org. So there's the first factory tour you can take in in Kentucky. That's cool. not too far away. That's, that's no, not unreasonable. Uh, <laughs> good morning. You're on the air. It's like a 14 hour drive, 12 yeah. hour drive. Yeah. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Jim. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a few that maybe aren't on your list. Um, mm-hmm. There's the Spam Museum uh, near Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. Is that a factory there's or a the, museum? Uh, uh, it's a factory tour of, okay. of uh, uh, the Spam plant. Spam. Okay. Uh, there's the um, the Bob Evans Museum in in Ohio. <laughs> uh, is, is that a factory? Uh, is that a factory? Uh, 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 actually, it's a farm. It's a farm. Uh, yeah, Bob Evans, was Bob a, Evans a is a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can go to Bob Evans and take that tour anytime. Uh, and then there's, there's the Waffle all day. House Museum near the Waffle uh, House Museum north of Atlanta. Yeah, but is it a factory? <laughs> is it a factory? That's, that's, no, uh, well, I mean, I, I, that's not a factory. Uh, it's if for you corporate headquarters. The Waffle House a factory. Okay. No, it's their corporate headquarters. I've been there. <laughs> okay. It's about factory. We have blood drive there. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Well, one out of three okay, is not bad. A, no. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. All right. Here, here's yeah. another one. Here's another one. Uh, the Crayola Crayon Factory. 
Oh, now that would be fun. The Crayola Crayon Factory. I want to see have a taste test over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, but tickets are nine dollars and seventy-five cents a piece. I don't know why they're just probably get your old Crayola crayon. Probably get some crayon. It, this yeah. is in Easton, Pennsylvania. The, oh, okay. the town of Easton, like Sheena East, Sheila East. What's the word from Sheena Easton? Oh, I gotta tell TJ about that because they they're close to Pennsylvania. The Crayola so. fa- that must smell like a kindergarten room in there. No, it's on the west side. It's on the west side of Pennsylvania. Oh, Easton so. is on the west side. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's <laughs> not like on the east side of Pennsylvania, <laughs> near New York and New Jersey. Yeah, TJ. Easton? Way over there. Well, that would be the I east side then. Is. Well, that would be the east side if it's near yeah. Jersey. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's a, on the opposite side of Jersey. Oh, it's on the west side then. So yeah. it's not even close to Jersey. I don't think it is, no. <laughs> okay. Well, TJ goes to Pennsylvania. Easton's like on the west side. Okay. It's on the west side of Pittsburgh, if I remember correct. Okay, that would be way, way on there. that would be way far away from Jersey then. Okay. Um, but anyway, it must smell like a kindergarten room in there, right? I bet it does. Crayola crap. Right. All right. right. Uh, the Big Wind Kite Factory. Now, this is in Hawaii. Oh. Hawaii. Yeah. How, how hard is it to make a kite? I don't know. It's they got like three steps. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will happily direct you to the island's best kite flying spots as well. You oh, that would be cool. I like kites. I'm pro kite. Yeah, I like kites too. Uh, in Williamsburg, there's the Williamsburg Doll Factory. Oh, nice. Williamsburg, Virginia. Um, they It started in an old farmhouse, and you get to see them uh, craft. I'm sorry. I would be freaked out. <laughs> like, you walk in, and there's just a bunch of doll heads. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'm okay. sorry. Horror movies have ruined me from, like, doll heads that are not attached to dolls. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, you're probably glad okay. you don't have girls then, so you don't have to worry about that. It's like a clown factory. Stuff. I'm not going to a clown factory. Yeah. <laughs> or a clown museum. I know there's one in Sarasota, I think. It's, no, that's the Turkish one. I'm not going. <laughs> Sorry. I've watched too many horror movies. Now, there's Shelley's Erotic Toy Factory in Ooh. Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what kind of samples you get there. <laughs> Shelly's Erotic right. Toy Factory. <laughs> you know what's, what's interesting about that place? I think they have a trial room. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Once you break the seal, it's yours. Shelly's Erotic Toy Factory. <laughs> no returns. <laughs> Look what's coming down the conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want that one. <laughs> There's the guy at the, the guy at the very end. He has his little number. That's his inspection. Inspected by number four. Yeah, right. Number. Inspected by number four. Inspected by number four. Okay. He has a good job. In uh, Macungi, Pennsylvania, the Mack Truck Tour, the Mack Truck Factory Tour. Wow. Do they let you drive a truck? That would be <laughs> cool. No. What city say. is that in Pennsylvania? Macung M A C U N G I E Macungi okay. maybe Macungi. Okay. Is it McConaughey? Maybe. But maybe that's where the word Mac comes from. E- E1 probably does tours. E1 probably does. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's right. I took a, a, a group of uh, uh, Weebelows on a tour when my son was little. He was a Weebelow, and we, we, we went to E1. I forgot about that. Um, let's see. Tom's of Maine Factory. This is in San Francisco. Tom's Fr- Shoes? It says, how does toothpaste get into a tube? Oh. oh. <laughs> Tours are free. I have no idea what they make there. Tom's of Maine. They must wow. Be- anyway, there you go. How does toothpaste get into a tube? <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard to Very figure good. out. <laughs> uh, well, it's sealed on one end. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In uh, Muk- M- Mukilteo, Washington, you can see how planes, 747s, 777s and 787s are made. It's the Future of Flight and Boeing factory tour. That would be kind of cool. It is kind of cool. There you go. What was that thing in Dade City oh, called? Oh, you don't crash at the end. Oh, uh, a f- a Fantasy of Flight. Fantasy of Flight. You ever gone down there? That's yeah. not a factory, but it's a cool tour. Uh, hold on. The phone rang. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I thought of another one. Uh, in the Kona, <laughs> Texas. In Nakona, Texas, uh-huh. the Nakona Baseball Equipment uh, Company uh, uh, does a factory tour. All right. What do uh, they make? They make the last uh, American-made baseball gloves. 
Oh, oh really? Wow. Nice. Yeah. That would be fun, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. So what's the question of that tour? Are you a catcher or a pitcher? What is yeah, right. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I'm going to Shelly's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course, there's the Hershey's tour. Uh, it's a sure. F- it's a free tour in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, it's a free tour sealed with a kiss. I think, I, I think Joe, Joe said he went there. Do they give you a big Hershey kiss at the end? Is that what they mean by that? Oh, that'd be nice. A big one. It's a free tour. Yeah. So, Did you ever take a tour of the, uh, the ch- potato chip factory again here in town? Yeah, yeah, uh, a long time ago. Yeah, we used to have blood drives out there all the time, and uh, I knew the GM, and he took me around. So, I, I've been on some pretty cool tours. So, I've been on a tour of uh, Lockheed Martin where they were building the F-A-18s. Oh, cool. oh wow! That was pretty cool. Nice. Um, we, were, we were having a blood drive, and I'm like, oh, I'd love a tour. They're like, okay. So that was pretty cool. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean that, that's that's one. Of, I love going out there and seeing how these things are made and seeing how how clean these buildings are and how well they're maintained and the quality of the employees. I think it's pretty awesome. You know, I worked for a long time in, at the Star Banner in the uh, what do you call them, the circulation the department print room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not okay. the print room, but the circulation department. But but a tour of the newspaper is a really cool tour too. And I have no idea yeah. what it looks like yeah. now because I'm sure that. Yeah, it's the, all digital. I'm yeah. Sh- yeah, I'm sure the the way it's done now compared to the way it was done back then is completely different. But they still print have the big presses, right? I don't know if or the, the pr- if the pre- presses are here or somewhere else. Oh, but okay. the the press in the old Star Banner, which is no longer standing there, was easily the size of a bus. It was huge. Mm-hmm. Right. It was, yeah, it was it, massive. It was huge. All right. Uh, there's the. I've been on a tour of like Mercedes and Toyota. I, I saw the Mercedes, their uh, SUV get made in Birmingham, a Honda, the, where they made the Accord, still do. Really? Toyota was making the Camry, Did, Hyundai's making the Sonatas, were you and in, their SUVs. Were you in an area where there was molten steel? No. No, I no. was. And you, you, what they do is they bring in the pre. The, all the parts are uh, are are already done and fabricated, and then they're just doing the final assembly. I remember as a kid, we went to the Ford factory, mm-hmm. and, and you walk through an area where there was molten steel. You had to be on a catwalk. You were way up above it, but the heat you could well, still there's f- no mm-hmm. steel in a car now outside of the frame. Yeah, probably <laughs> right, right. Yeah, but lattice. But, but it was so hot. I mean, your your your, your shoes. Oh, I bet it was. Mm-hmm. We're kind of sticking to the metal catwalk that you were on. Yeah, I'll bet it was. Hershey's. Hershey's, and uh, and then there's the Jelly Belly tour in San Francisco. Oh. This is where they make the Jelly Belly jelly beans. It's there a you f- go. Forty nice. minute tour. All right, we are up against the clock. Uh, Gail, where's the Bloodmobile today? Bloodmobile today, Larry, is actually at the Walmart in. Where? The Walmart where? Galen? <laughs> where'd it go? Galen, are you there? I think it was Summerfield, I think. Wow, he I disappeared. Think, uh, he disappeared. Yeah, he's, he's gone. All right, well, go find the... Uh, go next door to the Cascades on Silver Springs Boulevard. That's where Life South is. And go next yep. door to Winn-Dixie and Denali. That's where Life South is. Which is closed from what Galen says. Yeah. And thank Penn Flooring for sponsoring this. Thank you, Penn Flooring. 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Go visit Life South. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. A deadly downpour soaking Texas and more rain could be coming. Four people have died. At least 12 are missing. Feared dead after a home washed downstream slammed into a bridge. A state of emergency declared in 37 counties. Hundreds of homes destroyed. You cannot candy coat it. It's absolutely massive. Texas Governor Greg Abbott surveying the damage. We urge all citizens to get out of harm's way. Don't risk your lives by trying to not evacuate the water that may be rising. Also on Monday, a tornado reportedly touched down about 60 miles northeast of Austin. Fox Radio's Steve Rappaport. Police say two people are dead, several hurt in a shooting at a Walmart store in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And pipeline officials believe 101 gallons of oil were released in the oil spill along the California coast. That is slightly less than estimates. Fox News, we report, you decide.
Fox News Early Prime, breaking down business news and its impact on your bottom line. Your world with Neil Cavuto. That's how I do business. That's why I am business. Bold positions and brash opinions on the topics America is buzzing about. The five. How do you think this will set in with the American people? This will be the pulse of the nation. Washington insight and political know-how from the best in the Beltway. Special report with Brett Bay. The epicenter of the political world is here. The number one place for fair and balanced coverage. Fox News Channel. What's wrong with working hard to make our lives and our kids' lives better? Nothing. At Fox Business, we don't have a problem with success. We have a very big problem with those who get in the way of it. We don't come out of the box bashing those who make money. Just the politicians stealing it and the bureaucracies wasting it. We're not just sitting behind a desk. We're out in the field, on the floor, with the folks. Because when a story moves forward, so do we. Fox Business, the power to prosper. Check your local listings. Howdy, R.L. here for Dairy Queen. Spring is in the air, and so is the smell of meat cooking on our charbroiled grill. You want to treat yourself to one of our most excellent grilled chicken sandwiches or wraps, or maybe a foot-long all-beef chili dog, and wash it down with an orange Julius fruit smoothie with many real fruit flavors. So come on down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. La Famiglia Pizzeria has moved into Ocala. Stop by today at 2504 Southeast 17th Street and see for yourself what everyone is talking about. Awesome place. I never get pizza anywhere else. Great New York style pizza and dishes. Best pizza in Ocala. One trip and you'll agree, La Famiglia Pizzeria is the best. La Famiglia Pizzeria. Stop by for a pizza that you'll love or call in and order yours for pickup. 352-245-2419. La Famiglia Pizzeria. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make...